you heard of this Starbucks place, Josh? Yeah, I had it once in Seattle. It's pretty good. It means there's better options. Trigger warning, Josh is out of pocket. I'm sorry, babes. I'm sorry. The rumors are true. We're back. <laughs> back in business, and we're going to review some and coffee. We're ready than ever. We're ready. Than we're ready than ever. ever. Viewers, are you ready? You guys can do like a good cop, bad cop with the view with the viewers. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? You better be ready. Oh, no. <laughs> Just to recap, this place is known for their what, Josh? Cheesecake, tres leches, and what is the bread and chocolate place known for? They have pastries, coffee. Well, what did you want him to say? Bread and chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I figured. <laughs> Do you believe in miracles, Josh? Yeah. <laughs> of course. All right, so I got egg salad sandwich on white sourdough bread and a balsamic side salad. Really good. What kind of scone? It's a lingonberry almond and a little fruit cup. It's good. It's like your bougie style of diner coffee. It has the flavors you want in coffee. The real judge, the guest judge. We get some. Um, Almost as good as the coffee at Happy Chef. I don't know if I agree with that. The Happy Chef's way better. What? I think Cafe Lattes is better, for the record. On to our next cafe in the tour. This one is known for their secret menu. There's going to be a lot of exotic, maybe illegal things on the menu. Um, and I'm very excited to try them. I'm thinking like white rhino, maybe elephant. Very beautiful in the city. I felt like Adele when I said that. My new album comes out this way. <laughs> Her accent is just so funny. <laughs> Maybe I'm attracted to a devil. <laughs> I need to stop talking. Pretty out of pocket there, Josh. Yeah, that, that was really out of pocket. That was <laughs> trigger warning. Josh is out of pocket. I'm sorry, babe. But sorry. So, Adele, what's your next? <laughs> so, Adele, what's your next album gonna be about? It's about divorce, babes. Um, this cafe is known for its exotic. Um, Beverages. This is what having a salary does to you. You can really um, taste my socioeconomic status rising. This is the pumpkin spice. Well, it gave me a nice mustache. Uh, besides that, it uh, has a really strong coffee flavor. The pumpkin isn't too outstanding, but it adds a nice compliment, so. A little bit of gold. Gold doesn't taste like anything. It, does. it, tastes, it tastes like success. <laughs> it tastes it like tastes. I'm eating my money. <laughs> For our next coffee shop, we've gone to one of the top places in the cities. We have over a car wash deal. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, have fun in there, Nathan. I'll call you if I need help. Okay. <sighs> He's getting so old. You like dark roast? Light roast, yeah. Oh, you like light. Okay. <laughs> we don't know if we were supposed to use the fire, but Nathan just built it anyway. But then we're like, hey, we're paying customers, right? <laughs> paying customers as in we we bought one cup of coffee for the three of us here. And we gave them a tip. All right, so we're here at Bootstrap. First cup, please. Nope. Okay, describe it in four words, Josh. Bitter at first. Nice. <laughs> you have seven words. Seven words. Seven. No more, no less. I want more Coffee words. is acidic, yet I like it. Josh, you get you get two and a half more words. The flavor profile. That's hard. That was too many words. Ba okay, I'm changing it. <laughs> Balanced flavor. Two and a half. Pro. <laughs> All right, five words. Once upon a time, they're, for real though, quite good. Yeah. That was five words. <laughs> So this is Honor Coffee in Northeast Minneapolis, um, and we got the Tropical Beats 
pressed juice, so we're kind of breaking the rules. This isn't coffee, as okay. you can tell. I mean, there might be coffee in here, but we don't know. Nathan loves beets, so this is why he's getting Okay, first sniffs, what is it? Is it coffee? It is not coffee. Okay, confirmed. good to know. So, no coffee. This <laughs> is the it? best coffee I've ever had. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is a light roast. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely taste beets. Yeah. Here's me and Nathan with the juice. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> we didn't do much reviewing, really. We just kind of said a few opinions, had a few laughs. <laughs> what we learned here is that we need to subordinate the coffee reviewing to the coffee experience. And I think we've had the, the full experience. And Josh will close out the vlog with a few words. Just a lot of pressure. So yes, well, we only got coffee from like three of the places. Elliot's right, it was more about the experience of getting to be with some good old pals and friends and engaging in some conversation and life talks, uh, drinking juice, and no other way to want to spend a Sunday. So, you know, I recommend that you take your friends out for coffee and, you know, take our recommendations. I guess I'll just leave you with that. Um, drink coffee, drink beets, and don't be basic. <laughs> <laughs>